Hello, I'm Landon Schlungen, and today we're going to start with our APIs and microservices certification. And to start this, we're going to start with managing packages with NPM. So to get started with this, we'll go to the introduction page. And the first thing we want to learn about is our package.json file, which is going to hold a lot of the data about our project. And it also handles like what packages we have. And those packages are stored in a folder named node modules. We can either have them stored globally or locally. And basically to start these challenges, we need to use REPL.IT, which is kind of an online editor, I would say, so that we can test it really easily. So to start this, we want to click on this link, which will take us to our very own project. That should be unique to ourselves. It takes a little while to load up here, but now what we can do is we can, well, I guess it closed out free code camp, so go back to free code camp, go back to the introduction. And now that we have this open, we can go to our first lesson. And basically we want to add the author into our package.json file. So if we go into REPL.IT, we can see that we have this package.json file right here. And it has our name, it has our dependencies, it has some scripts, it has the engines and repository. We want to add an author part in here. So basically we'll just copy this over to my REPL.IT and right above the name, we'll add the author and I'll add my name here. And then we want to run it. It takes a little while to boot up and run, but then once it does, it brings up this and we want to copy the URL and we want to paste the URL inside the solution link. And this is what it's actually going to test. So now it says packs.json should have a valid author key, which we do have a valid author key. And we want to use this URL, paste it here, and now we should be able to complete the challenge. So now we want to add this description in here. So I'll just add this description, try this. And I believe you have to stop and start it again, but uh, I'll try this first and just paste in the link again. So I'll grab the link, the URL, paste it in here, see if it works, which it does, which is cool, I guess. Next up, we want to add keywords. So we'll add the keywords into our patch.json. This is just like keywords about what our project is about. We want to add free code camp in here and we should be good with that. We will paste in our solution link. If I grab it, paste it in and it should work. Yep, cool. Next up, we want to add a license to our package JSON. Um, the license that we want to add is MIT, I guess. Licenses just inform people of what you can and can't do with the project if it's like online as open source. So I'll just add in license of MIT, copy the URL again, paste it in and it should work. Yep, cool. Next up, we want to add in a version. So the version, I guess, will be 1.2.0 because I just want to copy this over. So there we go, we have our version. We want to test this, paste it in here, complete it, go on to the next one. Next up, we want to expand our project with external packages from MPN, and this is with dependencies. We want to add version 2.14.0 of the moment package to the dependencies field of our package JSON file. So I guess to do this, we will do, we'll go into REPL, and inside of our dependencies, we have Express which is actually a node package for making APIs. But we want to add moment and moment.js, the package is used for handling dates and times. So we want to add in moment and we want the version 2.14.0, I believe. And I think that should work now. So let's try it. Paste in our link, say I've completed it and it looks like it works. So let's go on to the next challenge. Now we want to manage NPM dependencies by understanding semantic versioning. Now this is a little bit new to me. I don't really know what they're doing here. Oh, I see. It's because like with versioning, you see these versions of 2.14.0. The first number would be like a major release. So it says like major, minor, and patch. So the first number, if that changes, then it's a major change to the to the package. If the minor number changes, then it's a minor change. And if the patch number changes, then it's just a patch and you don't really have to worry about it. It's just like a bug fix. So that's what these numbers kind of represent. And obviously these numbers will always increment. So if a moment changed to version 3.14, then we would expect like a major breaking change to that package. So let's see what we have to do here in the dependencies section of our JSON file, change the version of moment to match major version two, 10 and two. 
Okay, so do 2, 10, and 2. There we go, and now it should work. Let's paste that in, paste that link in and complete it. Yep. Use the tilde character to always use the latest patch version of a dependency. So basically if we put a tilde in front of our version, then it will automatically update that package to the version with the highest patch version. And it won't automatically update any of the other ones. So now we just want to add our tilde in front of our moment package. So go in here, add in a tilde here. So there we go. Now it'll upgrade to the to the biggest patch version or the latest one automatically. Like I don't even know if this is point two here anymore. It'll just update to the latest one. So let's try that. Paste in our link. Complete it. Sweet. Now we want to use the caret character to use the latest minor version of a dependency. So that's done with the caret and it will change this middle number to be the latest version. Oh, and it'll also change the minor one to be the latest version as well. Or not the minor, the uh, patch version. So yeah, now we just wanna add the caret in front of our moment. So we'll just replace the tilde with a caret. So now this 10 will be the latest version. I don't know if it will be 10 anymore. It'll just be the latest. Let's try that. And it looks like it works, cool. Now we want to remove a package from our dependencies. And we just do this by deleting it out of it entirely. So we want to remove our moment package from our dependency. So we'll go here and we will remove moment. And that should work now. Let's try it out, complete it. And it does not work because I should not include moment, which I thought I did. Maybe I, oh, I have to delete that comment, comma as well. And now I think it will work. Yep, sweet. There we go. We completed the managing packages with NPM portion of FreeCodeCamp. Next up, we will do basic node and express. And I think we will continue to be working with this REPL.IT. So this should be quite fun. And we can start the project by using this link again. Yeah, I hope you learned something new today. Definitely one of the bigger things is this tilde and caret character version stuff. The other stuff is like what this data actually is used for and hopefully in the next sections we'll kind of bring this all together and make it all work together so with that i will see you next time when we go over basic node and express so i will see you later bye